As the builders get started transforming White Hart Lane, work is far more advanced on rebuilding the team on the pitch. When I played here, there were a couple of fourth place finishers, but since the best start to a season since Bill Nicholson's 61 title, there is now a genuine belief that Spurs can go on to win the Premier League. It might fall kindly here for Son, into Deli Alley! Tottenham 2, Manchester City 0! With 16 players away on international duty, it's all pretty quiet around here, apart from the builders, of course. So I'm off to meet the architect of the new top. Very well, how are you? Where's it going to be? Everything's good now. Good. good to see you. Good to see you, man. Okay? Good to see you. Yes. Everything good? Very well, mate. Very well. Cool, that. eh? That you're happy. It's, it's getting a little bit cold, yeah, isn't no, it? No, it's got to change, yeah? You've got a nice tan, well, we though. Where have you been? <laughs> have you been on holiday? No, 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 no. It was here. Oh, you've got a nice little, nice no, little no, tan. No, 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 no holiday, you know? <laughs> too much work. No, it's too much. I mean, it's beautiful here, isn't it? Yeah, I, it's I was at the older place, the older place, and the showers used to be like uh, sometimes hot, sometimes cold. Yes, yes, <laughs> and yes. And then you yes, come yes, here yes, and you're yes. like, wow, this is yes, this yes. is beautiful. So. Lucky, eh? the changing room, the food, the restaurant, the you. No, so no, no, with no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Should we go into this lovely yes, pavilion and have a chat anyway? And there remains only one unbeaten team in the Premier League tonight, and that team is Tottenham Hotspur. I want to talk to you a little bit about this, uh, the Manchester City game. I mean, uh, I think the fans, they saw that as the, the real breakthrough moment that kind of that said, you know what, Spurs now officially are ready to challenge for the title. Is, is that the way that you see it as well? Well, it's difficult for me. I think it's too early. I think that uh, we are building a, a very nice project and mm. very nice uh, team. Um, I think that... Uh, uh, we are in a, in, a, in a moment that we need to believe and, and show that we are capable to, to manage big things uh, and big games. Yeah. I think it was a great opportunity to show that uh, we are in, a, in, a right, in the right way. Um, I think only we need time. I think that we are younger, very younger. Uh, we have the, the younger squad. But I think that uh, if you play with the passion that we play and, uh, and you show the quality that we show against Manchester City, all is possible. But I think it's, it's too early. But I can understand that uh, our our fans uh, feel proud and and start to see that maybe it's possible this season to achieve uh, yeah. big things. Your high press that you play at all the time, that you play, what you're asking your players to do, do you think that that caught Manchester City out? Just how how far you was prepared to go? Because you even pressed the goalkeeper at times, mm. and and how intense the players were. I think that. Uh, we know uh, we know each other very each other very very well with Pep. Yeah, uh, he knows uh, me, and I know him very well. And uh, I think we no surprise <laughs> him. But uh, it's true that the, the, the intensity that we show during 90 minutes that was the key because mm. uh, sometimes you can uh, play in that level during maybe half an hour, yeah. 45 minutes. But the belief and the how. Uh, our team was combined to play in that way, that was, uh, was fantastic. Just to touch on last year, I mean, what would you put that down to? Would you say it was more of a, a, a good experience or did it leave more of a, a bad taste? Well, I think that it uh, was an experience that we, we must to learn. Yeah, it wasn't uh, a physical problem. No. It was mental. I didn't and feel it was physical either. Yes, I mean. of course, I agree. I think that uh, the problem in, in football, all the opinion, mm that uh, are okay and you need to respect all, all the opinion. But do you know, I think that it uh, wasn't physical, was mental. Yeah. When you lose the focus, you lose the focus, that is impossible to move your, your body. The most important thing is to try to translate uh, the message that we need always uh, enjoy. Enjoy yeah. about training session, enjoy about play football. I think uh, we always, we need to remember, no? When we start to play football, yeah that uh, we start to play football when we were a boy because the we feeling. feel passion yeah. and emotion. 
and the, and and to play football uh, was an emotion, yeah. and uh, we cannot lose that. If you lose the emotion, you lose the passion. It's Finish. your job, and and, and then it's uh, play, but not play in the way that you need to play. Yeah. And always you can feel that, and in your energy, in your body language, when you don't have passion, when you don't have energy, when you don't have emotion, and then you can lose how we lose the last uh, few few games last season. At what point during your playing career did you think, I'm going to be a coach? I think it was uh, 27. I was uh, playing in Paris. 27? Yes, 27 wow. in, in Paris, in PSG. Yeah. Uh, and my manager was uh, Luis Fernandez. In that moment, I started to, I don't know, thinking in, in another way, no? Because always before, I was focused only in, my, in myself and to, to be ready for, to compete, to mm. play, to training in my family, yeah. but at that moment I started to think, you know, I like that. Oh, why the manager take that decision? Why we train in double session? Why only one session? Why yeah, we play yeah. four, four, two? Why <laughs> we? And in that moment I started to realize that I was Maybe very like inter a, interested in something else was taking yes, over. Yes, I started to, to grow up in, in myself, inside to me. I mean, I spoke to a couple of the lads that, that come out, some of the coaches that were here when, when I were here. You know, they say that you, you still have a strong involvement, even with the young players um, that are not away on international duty. I mean, we're talking 17, 18, 19 yeah. year old. Is that something you've always done? Ah, always, I love that. Because uh, I come from a, a club in Argentina that is called uh, New Wales Boys. Yeah. And always the philosophy to, was to bring young players through the academy to, yeah. to play on the first team. And uh, that is is that is uh, is a thing that I love. No, maybe I can I can see myself in in every single young player because uh, always uh, in my epoch and my period uh, always the my manager or head coach or coaches always believe in the younger. Yeah. You, know, you said you know when you were 27 you started to kind yes. of think about coaching. Were you still playing for Argentina at that point? Yes. Yeah. So, I, me I remember a game. When you played against England in the uh, 2000. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank I'm you. sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a penalty. Michael Owen brought down by Pochettino. It was a good tackle. For it was me, a good tackle. Good tackle. And, 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 and <laughs> after many, many years, that was, uh, was good for me. Because yeah. all the people in England remember, remember me for the, for the penalty. <laughs> and that, so it worked. Unbelievable, <laughs> yes. This club is known for its strong Argentinian links, Ardiles and, and Villa. Was, was you aware of the identity that Spurs had even as a, as a player and especially now yes. in management? Yes, always. Uh, I hear from, uh, from Tottenham, I was in, in, in Argentina, from Ricky and from, yeah, and from yeah. Ossi, of course, you <laughs> know. And always the Tottenham no, sound very good in, in Argentina. Yeah. And, uh, Yes, for me it's very special. Uh, we have a lot of uh, in every game that we play in West Ham Lane. Ozzy always is coming to my manager room before the game, and we spend five minutes. Uh, very nice chat. We have a, a great relationship, and yeah. then every once a year uh, is coming always Ricky, yeah. and spend time with us. <laughs> and now it's fantastic, uh, really fantastic. Well, Maurizio, thanks for your time, mate. Much, no, uh, you're honestly, welcome. A pleasure. Really okay. appreciate it. Can you just tell Delhi that you told him, told me that I was better than him as well, please? That was Jesus, was but... Uh, <laughs> I'm only joking. Will be, with me, we will be better than oh. Delhi, of course. I wish, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, thank you.